My name is Oga Brown. So let's go Kenya all the way. <laughs> Kenya. Uh, one surprising thing about Kenya is that the former president, I mean Barack Obama, I can say Barack Obama. Well, what is what is the connection? I took my time to check uh, Barack Obama uh, when he started campaign for the president of the United States of America. And one very funny thing about Barack is that as of 2006, for, forgive me for forgetting, as of 2006, the only thing I could get about Barack Obama is that Barack had a relation with Hillary Clinton when they were born in the Senate. Uh -huh. So when the campaign started and Bill was on the side of Barack, and I said, something won't happen. No. And people like us were fortunate to watch films like uh, Jack Bauer, 24 hours, you should know that. And then suddenly, a black guy is about to become president of the United States of America. Or is it going to be a lady? Well, we followed um, those ones back then. And uh, I, th I came up with an article, Barack Obama, the stuff of legend. And uh, I even went ahead to say, Hillary Clinton, it's about time you go step out for Barack Obama. How did I get the boot know about all of this one? It's because Barack Obama is actually a Nigerian from Cross River State, from Oba in the local government area of my <laughs> village. <laughs> Can you imagine? So what's the connection? <clears throat> Obama in Yala simply means this is where it stops. This is where it ends. This is the au revoir. This is the climax. But does that have anything to do with that? No connection. Now let me let you go to Google. Please type the word Yala Swamp Kenya. And you will come up with the very village where Barack Obama comes from. If you are in the same page that I was at the time, I got this information. Ask for the word Oklela. Now, Oklela in my community here in Christopher State means the speaker. Guess what? The speaker for that community, Barack Obama, speaker, his name is Oklela. That's to say the speaker. So, what's the connection between Kenya and Nigeria? Is that um, we are all headsmen. Yes. We are all farmers. Some of us keep the crops. Some of us keep the animals. Like the goat hunt. And this interrelationship is such that over the years, we have moved from Nigeria, of course, to other part of Africa. But then let's look at Kenya. Kenya, very tall, very energetic. They have mountains. They have swamps. They do exactly what we do in my community. What do we do? We plant rice. We plant yams. We plant cocoa yams. What do we do again? We have very tall trees dating to 400, 500, 1,500 years thereabout. The similarity between Kenya and Nigeria is the strength, the energy, uh, what I would say, the vituperation, the ability to be able to make statements. Possibly that's why they are very good in long distance race. Why? Because they learn to just jump over mountains, just like the mountains of Metamakuchi, and of course, uh, a minute's walk to Asu Rock. Yes, that popular Asu Rock. I remember when the Chinese came, the first thing they want to do is, where is the Asu Rock? What do we do Asu Rock? I say, come, come on, let's go up the mountain. And you can just have a shot and overlooking the Asu Rock. What have I said in all of this? That Kenya, Nigeria, their similarity is so unique that you can just call us Ken Niger. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about maybe their culture, the way they design their faces and mm. all that? Yes, I will. Naturally, you can, if your camera can pick this. Yes, Africa on a shoestring. A shoestring. Yeah. Exactly. That's to say, all around Africa. Now, to go all around Africa, you need the strength of a Kenyan to go all around Africa. You need the wildness, familiarity with the wildness. If you look at the background, you see elephant and all of that. 
And if from Kenya, you have Mount Kilimanjaro. Don't forget that. And down Mount Kilimanjaro, you have Tanzania, Moe, for example, where you have the Gorogoro parks and other natural parks where animals such that you can never see anywhere exist. So Kenya, anyway, that's why I asked some one question. How come Kenya airline is so popular? It's because of the beautiful thing you see when you are dropping down Nairobi, when you're dropping down Kampala, when you're dropping down, and when you're taking, particularly when you come through the north, from Kenya north down to uh, uh, the, 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 somewhere in Tanzania, uh, when you take your, 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 your taxi and you have to pass through Kenya before you get to Tanzania, it's a beautiful, 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 wonderful, wonderful terry that I know you would like to see any day. So Kenya, Nigeria, we have the lost grain, just like the Angari Game Reserve. Come on. So when you see anything, Kenya, you see Nigeria. Please look at Buhari, my president, and look at Barack Obama. How do they look? Like ba. <laughs> that is the Nigerian in Kenya, and the Kenya in Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. Well, for this channel, do well to subscribe, like, please share on your timeline anywhere but please if you don't do anything share it and believe that this young lady is going places thank you very much pat ayabo for this uh, beautiful interview <laughs> thank you <laughs>